Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. I feel like we've done about 20 new release preview videos this month, but this is the last one for the month of December. It is 2022 Panini Capstone. It's a debut product. You've never seen this before. It's the first time they've ever come out with this release. And interestingly enough, they have put Fernando Tatis Jr. on the cover, just like he was on the cover of Triple Threads just a few weeks ago. There are 12 packs per box, by the way. So it kind of has kind of a Diamond Kings type feel to it in the fact that the, the box is uh, kind of like boxy, kind of like a square. There's 12 packs, eight cards per pack. The difference is there's more hits. There's two autographs and also two relics per box. So pretty nice in the fact that one in every... Uh, what one every three packs will have a hit. So let's go and get started. We'll start this show off with Pharaoh's box. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one and have your name on a card and get all the cards from a video like this, check us out on Patreon. We sell all of our spots there. There is a link in the description. And man, these packs just feel like they were designed around the Padres design and team colors. Maybe that's why Tatis was put on the front of the pack. The brown Padres colors. So let's see. Is this going to be great? Are we going to be calling this Panini Crapstone by the end of this break? Or is it going to be something that's amazing that we all want to, you know, try a box for ourselves? So here is the base design. I'm going to tell you. Kind of cool. <laughs> kind of cool. O'Neill Cruz. A Greg Diekman. So this cardstock is... Pretty thick. It's about at least twice the thickness of a regular card. So Taylor Rogers. We got Bryce Elder. That is a red. And we got Connor Wong. There's Bryce Harper and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Big Bang insert card is going to be the last one. So in each box, we will get a grand total of two base gold cards and twelve hobby red parallels. Which I don't think those are going to be numbered. On to the next. Let's see what we can find. By the way, we'll be live tonight with a Saturday showdown on a Friday since tomorrow is... There's Jeremy Pena. A nice one right there. Let's get that one in a sleeve. Since tomorrow is New Year's Eve, I figured it best to do the Saturday showdown on a Friday night because I know a lot of us would probably have plans with our families and stuff. And if not, maybe watching the ball drop or something like that. Next pack up. Where's all the hits? All right, so three uh, total packs without a hit yet. All right, that's they're going to be coming here, right, Pharaoh? It does say on average, so I hope that doesn't get us. There's Alec Thomas, Taylor Rogers, and we've got Jazz Chisholm. This is going to be our first hit from the box. It is a Jazz Chisholm. Big old patch auto right there. Pretty nice card. Peak Jazz Chisholm. Max Muncy, Verdugo Red, and Jacob deGrom is the last one in the first hit pack of the day. Here's maybe the next one. We'll see. Rodolfo Castro, Kyle Tucker, and Trey Mann Sr. there. There's Vidal Brujan, Francisco Lindor, Jacob deGrom, and Alec Thomas. And by the way, we're opening three boxes of this in this video so that you have kind of a, a good, I guess, Sample size to go off of. So I figured let's do three boxes here. And maybe we'll put these in the team break Tuesday. Here's our first numbered card. It's Whit Merrifield, numbered to 75. We've got Jonathan India there as well. And Deja Vu, George Brett, and Bobby Witt Jr. on it. So pretty cool. A little rookie card logo there from the Bobby Witt Jr. One of the top rookies in the 2022 class. Torkelson's on the back. It'd be nice to find an autograph of him. I've not found a big auto yet. Still looking. Jazz Chisholm, no offense. But, man, only one hit so far. I was thinking they'd be coming a little, a little more quickly. There's O'Neill Cruz. We've got Hans Kraus. That's going to be the second hit. It is an autograph. Hans Kraus, number to 99. So that's going to tell us that the rest of the way, it's just going to be relics that we're going to have. So we may as well, might as well, let's do, uh, let's do two at a time here. And hopefully we get some nice big name relics in here. There's Bobby Witt Jr.'s 
capstone rookie card. Is anyone else feeling a little bit overwhelmed this month with all these new releases? There's Mike Trout. It's almost like you can't even keep up. I tried to squeeze them all in by the uh, the end of the year here. And even so, coming into next month in January, there's still 2022 products that have not come out yet, such as Gold Label. We've got a Jake Myers. That's going to be the relic. It's a dual relic of Jake. And that will do it for that pack. Let's go on to the next one for Pharaoh. And see if we can find in these last two packs of the 12-pack box. Corbin Burns, Cy Young Award winner a couple years ago on the back. And here we go, Anthony Rizzo on the front. I do kind of like the, uh, I kind of like this design on the front of the cards, or at least this light refractor effect that it has going on here. It is kind of cool. Jake Berger and Paul Goldschmidt, Big Bang card. Raphael Devers, and here's the final hit, Teoscar Hernandez. So let's talk price point. These boxes sell for around $120 a piece or so. So if you're going to pick one of these up in your card store, probably pay around $120. Now, depending on where you go, sometimes you may get it less. Sometimes you may pay more, but um, about $120 is about the average price of a box of these. And I think they're around there on eBay, too, after all the fees and everything are put in there. Let's move on to the second box. Daniel Eberly. We'll see what we can find for you in the second box of Panini Capstone. A debut release, which means they have never done this product before until now. And I'm very interested to hear what you guys think about this. So far, I'm... Uh, I think it's okay. It's... Kind of like to me, it's kind of like Diamond Kings without all the old players in it. So we'll do a couple packs at a time here for Daniel. Right off the bat, we have Ruanzi Contreras, and that is going to be a dual relic of the good young starting pitcher for the Pirates. There's Jerry Pena. We'll get that one sleeved up. Didn't see a J Rod yet. Maybe one will come out in this box. There's Nick Lodolo for the Reds. And we move on to the next pack. That one is facing the opposite way. So what if that whole pack is facing the opposite way? It is not. Just the Harper. All right, we got a hit coming up here. The hit, it's going to be Lucas Giolito. And it is going to be a relic, number to 25. Kind of cool. Look at the capstone little official design there with the C with the baseball bats pointing towards the ball. That's cool. Here's a Bryce Harper upside down crest card. So get that one in a sleeve. Mike Bauman. I'm surprised we haven't pulled any of his autographs yet recently. There's one. Not Mike Bauman, but an autograph. Ryan Pepio, Los Angeles Angels rookie. It is not numbered. And nothing else going on there. So already we have three hits from this box, meaning there's one more. So far, no overwhelmingly great hit yet. In fact, the best hit is probably the, uh, I don't know, what do you think? Maybe the Jazz Chisholm patch auto. There's Shoya Otani. They're really showing off the uh, the airbrush on that one. Usually, I feel like a lot of times they'll try to pick a an image, like where you can't, where you wouldn't have seen the logos anyway, like that Brandon Marsh looks okay. But man, when it's straightforward with a big blank hat staring at you, some people can't get over that you're wondering what that's all about it's because panini does not have the rights to use mlb logos bobby witt jr right there rookie card they only have the rights from the players association to use all of the images of the players that's out of 75 on the charlie blackman and dylan sees velo is the last card right there so a lot of people dislike or the people that do like tops more than panini and dislike panini that's one of the things they can't get over is just the lack of logos Every now and then, it just really kind of just really is, is glaring. Hey, we got J-Rod coming up. Very nice. So Panini tries to do different things, like give you more hits in boxes like this to make up for it. An average tops box around the same price point would likely only give you one hit. And here we go. Next hit, it's a Peyton Henry. Peyton Henry crown. So nothing... In terms of jaw-dropping hits, there's New Age J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez right there for Daniel. So, Daniel, you got four packs. I'm assuming all four of these are what we call cold packs in regards to there's probably going to be no 
fit in any of these four. That's why you should always avoid buying loose packs on eBay. And also card stores that you don't trust or have much, maybe it's a brand new card store you're not really sure about. You know, if somebody's going through and opening a box, they have these four packs. Like, oh, those are cold packs. We'll just toss them in and, and sell them loose. So always beware of that. That's why I would never buy loose packs. Because you're probably just going to get, more likely, just a bunch of base cards. There's a Jeremy Pena gold, which is pretty nice. Two of those golds per box. Get that one sleeved up. Max Muncy. Wanda Franco. There's a Deja Vu with Wander Franco and also Tatis on the card. And no hits as expected. Had an O'Neill Cruz in there and another Wander Franco and Tatis in there. So, Daniel, thank you very much. We are now down to our final box here of Capstone. Have not hit anything really big in it. There's 16 boxes in a case of this. So this represents, what, uh, 3 sixteenths, which... Batting average wise, oh, I don't know. I never memorized three for 16. But three for 15 would be what? 20%? One for five? So just under 20% of the case here. We'll call it 18%. And by the way, this third box is for Jamie Callahan. So let's see if we can get the big hit of the video for Jamie. So far, it's been. Just kind of pedestrian hits. That's sometimes what happens when they when they up the hits and give you four hits per box. It sounds good, but if they're all going to be like B or C level rookies that um, aren't going to really you know be worth anything, I don't know if it's a good trade off. There's a very nice Julio Rodriguez rookie card right there. By the way, the backs of the card look like that. Give you the most recent stat line from 2021. And a um, little blurb about them as well. So here we go. Final box of this preview video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Brand new release preview video. Again, there's a Crest Wander Franco. I guess we'll sleeve that one up. We'll have a live stream here in a little bit. I'm going to go and start preparing for that one as soon as I'm done with this. And we'll be live for maybe about three hours tonight, ripping open stuff. If you want to come by and check it out or just hang out, there's Brandon Marsh. It is going to be a Brandon Marsh dual relic, rookie relic right there of Marsh. And we'll see what else we have. I hope we can get one decent autograph. Not too much in, way, in the ways of uh, numbered cards in here. We may have had one or two numbered cards per box. So I don't know if this would be a great product for the showdown. They will try it out in a Team Break Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, which would be January 3rd, I think. I've already sorted out all the ones from last Tuesday. I've been shipping them as quickly as I can. That's out of 49. Yadier Molina, audit artist proof. Deja Vu with Aaron Judge and also Dave Winfield on the card. And still waiting for two more hits. There's Spencer Torkelson, two more autographs a nice ryan zerman gold let's see who they're going to be also one more relic still in there and they're all going to come from this last stack here for jamie let's see what we can find here o'neill cruz on the back lucius fox on the front of this two-pack stack there's the next hit it's reed detmers Take a look. It is an autograph. Reed Detmer's auto. Sticker auto right there. I know some people will hate the sticker autos, but cool design on it. Kind of reminds me of those old uh, Leaf Metal um, sets from the mid-90s. At least that autograph design does. Willie Adames had a great season last year. 30-plus home runs. There's good old TJ Friedel. I would not be surprised if the last card is a TJ Friedel autograph. O'Neill Cruz there at the end. We'll do one more auto, one more relic, and then we'll get on out of here and start preparing for the Saturday showdown on a Friday night. By the way, I can't believe it's almost 2023. This year has gone by quickly. For all of you that have been here all year long, thank you very much for your long-time support. And for you new folks here, welcome aboard. And looking forward to having you all year next year. Here's our final autograph. Good picture, Logan Gilbert of the Seattle Mariners is our final autograph of the video. And I think we may have one more relic we have to check out before we 
get on out of here. There's Jeremy Payne at the back end. So we'll call it $125 a box. Is it worth it? Let me know in the comments. What would you, what would you give this? I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a, hmm, let me see this last hit and then I'll decide. I'm not going to give it an A. I'm not going to give it an F. Aaron Judge, very nice name right there. So the big name comes out at the very end. A peak Aaron Judge card right there. I think I'm going to give this, I'm torn between a B- and C+. That's where I'm at. So um, I guess I'll go ahead and I'm going to give it a C+. Plus. Let me know what you would give this in the comments. Um, and we'll open a whole bunch of this in our Team Break Tuesday and uh, in coming breaks. So we'll see if there's some big time hits hiding out in these cases that I have of Capstone. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday night. Have a safe and happy New Year's Eve tomorrow night and a happy New Year on Sunday. We'll be here all weekend long. We'll have videos for you, so make sure you stop back in and check them all out. Turn that notification bell on. Check that subscribe button. Make sure that you've tapped it, and uh, we will see you all later on in the live stream tonight. Good night, everybody.